Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use substring data type in include cont parameter. Substring data type can be used for a couple of things. So if you have multiple values in an include condition, you have to keep repeating starting portion length. For example, if you want to extract data or select data or items where whose brand is either Sony or Amazon or Bose, you have to write 3310 CH equal to Sony or, th or 3310 CH equal to Bose or 3310 CH equal to Amazon. Instead, you can use substring. So you can use like this, sub give substring like this. Instead of data type of CH, give SS. And you can connect, combine all the values, the list of values. But the problem is you have to count the number of lagging spaces and you have to give so many spaces here. So if you make mistake here, it is going to be a problem. So instead, we recommend the other one where you have to give the values multiple times. But there's another way where you can give list of values, combine the list of values in a single include count parameter. But substring is primarily used for finding a keyword, okay, anywhere in the record. For example, if you want to see, if you want to filter all the records where Sony is present in anywhere, it's not in fixed position. It could be anywhere in the record. So you can use substring. So here we are giving how to use substring. You have to use starting portion and length between column 1 and 80. Sony can be anywhere. Okay, it doesn't, it's not part of a fixed position. It can be anywhere. So it's like contains in Excel sheet when you, if you'll be filtering records based on a, a keyword string, a string which is present anywhere. It's not in fixed position. So in the in those cases in mainframe in include con you can use substring. So we are searching for a string Sony which is present anywhere between columns 1 to 80, including column 1 and 80. Let me show the input file. So let me open the input file and show you. So this is the file. So here we are looking for Sony. Sony is present here as a brand. Okay, it is also present here. Okay, when you give SS Sony, 1 comma 8 SS Sony, it is going to search for string Sony anywhere in this record. Okay, it is going to bring all these records. 1, 2, 3, 4, along with this record. I am going to view this file. I'm going to give find all condition. You can see there are five records which is having Sony as a string anywhere in the record. Okay, let me execute the JCL. Let's execute this JCL. In the first JCL, we are given the list of values. Instead of data type CH, we are used SS. The second JCL, which is most important, where we are searching for a string Sony anywhere between columns 1 and 80. Let me submit this JCL. So JCL is submitted. Max is 0. So let's look at the file. Let's look at both the files. Start 3.4. So in the first file we are expecting Sony, Amazon and Bose. Okay, we have given the list of values in a single include card parameter. The second output, okay, we are choosing Sony anywhere in the record. So we gave 1 comma 80, we didn't give 33 comma 10, okay, which is the portion of brand name. Brand name is in 33 comma 10, but we gave instead 1 comma 80. So we search for a string Sony anywhere in this record. So this is a very handy record where you are going to play with strings. Hope you understood how to use substring in include condition. Thanks for watching this video.